Bonjour mesdames et messieurs, bienvenue chez mon quatrième épisode sur la grammaire du français. Hello everyone and welcome to my fourth episode on French grammar. In this episode, I will examine the indefinite article. Firstly, as I mentioned in my last episode on the definite article, the indefinite article isn't actually a noun. It's an article or a determiner, but I have included it in this series due to its close relationship with nouns. Uh, there is some good news about the indefinite article for English speakers, and that is we have an indefinite article in English as well. For singular items, the indefinite article is a or an. And at this point, I'd like to point out that a or an is really just a quick way of saying the word one. For plural items, we use the word some, although in English we often omit the indefinite article for plurals and just use the plural noun on its own. In French, the indefinite article for singular items is the same word as the word for the number one. But as French nouns are masculine or feminine, there is a masculine form and a feminine form. The indefinite article for singular masculine items is un. The indefinite article for feminine singular items is une. For plural items in French, the indefinite article is de. In the negative, we have different words for the indefinite article in English and in French. In English, the word any is used with a negative verb phrase as the indefinite article. For example, I don't have any bananas. Uh, in French, the negative article is de. To use the same example, I don't have any bananas would be je n'ai pas de bananes. A uh, quick pronunciation note at this point, and that is de is often shortened to a simple D sound um, that can be very difficult to catch for French learners. So to use that example from before, it would often sound like je n'ai pas de banane. Um, let's look at the uses of the indefinite article now. The first use of the indefinite article is that it indicates a non-specified item of a category. For example, une tour or a tower. This refers to any tower as opposed to a specific one. Recall that in our last episode we used the definite article to refer to a specific tower. The second use of the indefinite article is to specify a generic quantity of an item, either one or more than one, without specifying a precise amount. For example, j'ai des bananes. I have some bananas. The indefinite article de in this sentence specifies that there is more than one banana, but doesn't specify how many. And that concludes my episode on the indefinite article. Thank you for watching. I hope you found it useful. If you have any questions, please post a comment and I will do my best to respond.